camera. Okay guys, on example three, you've got two choices. You can distribute this fraction times the 8x and the negative 2, and the 4 will reduce with this 8, but the 4 won't completely reduce with this 2. So by distributing this fraction, you're going to keep a fraction in at least one place. My suggestion is when you have this 3 fourths outside the parentheses, 8x minus 2, and it's equal to 9, why don't we try multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction? which is 4 thirds. Notice how on the other side this 9 is divisible by this 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times, so 3 times 4 is 12. This 4 and this 4 reduce, this 3 and this 3 reduce, and you have 8x minus 2. Look at the original problem, look at what you now have, you've really simplified it. You're going to add 2 to both sides, and show that 8x is equal to 14. And now when you remove this coefficient using division, you'll introduce a fraction one more time, but you can reduce this by dividing the top and bottom by 2 and get 7 fourths. For example, 4, you don't have any fractions that you see right away, but you have a lot of things that you can distribute. So 4 times negative 3x is negative 12x. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. <coughs> negative 10 times negative 4 is positive 40. And then you copy the negative 14x at the tail end. This is your opportunity to combine like terms. So your negative 10x and your negative 14x become negative 24x plus 40, keeping the negative 12x plus 4 on the left-hand side. Then you remove the smaller variable term by adding its opposite to both sides. I'm going to add 24x to both sides. That gives me 12x plus 4 is equal to 40. Then I can remove the constant that's on the same side as the variable by uh, subtracting it or adding its opposite to both sides, however you want to look at that, leaving you with 12x equal to 36. Luckily for us, when you remove this, co uh, this coefficient by dividing by it, it will go evenly into 36 three times.